What happened to Charlie? I'm not crazy, Theodore. But if that woman isn't Charlie, who is she? Sammy? Charlie's twin? It could be short for Samantha. Maybe when Samantha was kidnapped, she wasn't murdered. What if Charlie's twin is still alive? And not only alive, but raised by Springtrap, by William Afton, shaped and molded by a psychopath for 17 years, primed with all that knowledge Afton could glean from Charlie's life. Now sent to take Charlie's place? But why? What would be the point? And how could I have to know anything about Charlie's life? After her dad died, she moved away. Nobody saw her for years when she moved out with her Aunt Jen. <gasps> Never done that before. Clay! Uh, hey. Come in. I wanted to see how you were doing. Really? Didn't we have that talk yesterday? Yeah, well, you can never be too sure. What do you know about Charlie's Aunt Jen? She became very eager to see you again when I mentioned that you had seen her Aunt Jen before the house collapsed. It made me realize that there's a lot we don't know about that night. I know you're seeing Charlie tonight. If she can tell you where her Aunt Jen is... You're acting awfully different than Pep Talk Clay from the other night. I understand. It's just... We found some things in the wreckage. I don't know how to describe them. Scary things. Dave, William, Afton, Springtrap, whatever. I'm not ready to declare him dead, and I think Charlie is holding something back. And she might feel comfortable sharing that with me? Maybe. That feels morally ambiguous. Does it always do that? No. The murmuring is new. I'm over an hour early. I guess you decide on a shirt and get out a lot faster when you want to get away from the chief of police dropping by unannounced. Feels like it's been a year since I was last in town. I think Jessica moved out of her dorm to an apartment around here. What kind of friend have I been? I should know basic stuff like this. Maybe Charlie and I can go see a movie after the dinner and interrogation. The theater's just around the corner. I wonder what's playing. The theater is gone. But that... That's so much like... Just keep walking, John. You don't have to do this. The smell. So familiar. Rubber. Sweat. Pizza. Children playing. Complacent parents. It, it's exactly like... Excuse me, sir. Are you here with children? No, I... Yes, several children. Birthday party, so many cousins. What can you do? If you're not here with any children... I have to go meet someone. Somewhere else. Bye. Did I scare you? Sorry, the door was unlocked. I should have waited outside. Charlie, you scared me to death. What are you doing here? I told you, I'm having dinner with John. John doesn't seem to like my new look. Maybe he'd like me better, if you help me pick out an outfit. Well, Charlie, it won't do either of you any good to pretend nothing has changed. Wear what you have on, you look great. Just let him spend some time with you. He's been through a lot, remember? From his perspective, he saw you die right in front of his eyes. <laughs> How could I forget? I'm just worried about him. Jessica, do you remember him telling me something important that night? Something important? Something that I should remember. Something he said. Before I was... Sorry, no. You and John were alone for a few minutes. I'm not sure what he said. 
Why? I think it's important to him that I remember. Sorry again for breaking in. I mean, I didn't break in. The door was unlocked. You know what I mean. <laughs> Just announce yourself sooner next time. He's testing her. Hi. Hi. Charlie, you're dressed a lot nicer than the last time we were here. It probably seems that way because I'm not covered in dirt and blood this time. Right. <laughs> what was that movie we saw? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Zombies vs. Zombies. Right. <laughs> it was about zombies. It was my fault. My head wasn't really ever there. I was always thinking about other stuff. I've missed this. Me too. You know, I didn't leave because of... It wasn't because of you. I just had to get away from everything. I see she made it. Here you go. Oh, uh, but we didn't. I've kind of gotten used to ordering before you get here. <laughs> right. I still don't remember. What? I don't remember what you said to me that night. I know it's important to you. I know maybe it's why you think what you think about me. But I just... Don't remember. I can't change that. Okay. I know. I know that. A lot happened that night. I know. If it's that important, why can't you just tell me? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Miss? Oh, thank you. Charlie, I still don't understand. How did you manage to get away undamaged? I didn't. After that night, I had to get away. I had to leave everything behind. Everything. My whole life has been haunted by what happened here. I wanted to be somebody different. I had to, or I'd go insane. But I couldn't be your Charlie forever. That naive little girl forever. Selfish. Scatterbrained. Pathetic. I never thought you were any of those things. But it's still me! Don't you know it's still me? I saw you die. And now I'm here. Very much alive. Telling you I'm alive. John, please. I don't understand. If you think I'm not me, then what do you think? Who can you possibly think I am? I've thought about it a lot. Almost constantly, actually. I guess maybe I thought you were Sammy. Sammy's dead. Well, yeah, I know, but you only saw Sammy being kidnapped, not killed. And maybe Sammy is short for Samantha. Sammy could have been a girl all I along. I can't believe this. John, you took me to see Sammy's grave yourself, remember? I took you to the cemetery, but I never saw Sammy's grave or your father's. Then go look sometime. It's not like they're going anywhere. Aunt Jen warned me not to come back to Hurricane. She's three for three at this point. Have you heard from her, by the way? From your aunt? I figured you're living with her after you moved out of the dorm. I haven't seen her in a while. She rescued me that night, you know. She took me home and cleaned me up, made sure I was okay, but... I thought you said you didn't remember anything from that night. I don't. I woke up in her house and she told me what happened. But she left? Or you left? I'm confused. Do you want her to find you? I'd like to know where she is. Okay, well, I don't know. There's a good zombie movie starting in about 15 minutes. The new theater isn't far from here. What do you think? Should we see if the old formula still works? I can't. I've got somewhere that I need to be. Another time? Yeah. Maybe. Is it her? Is she my Charlie? I've been asking that for months. And now that I finally get to go ask her myself, it felt unreal. Like a dream that won't... <laughs> Kids together, John. They're just people in costumes.
People in costumes. That's never gone wrong for me. C Clay! I was just about to ring the bell. Were you expecting me? John, good. Come inside. You want some coffee? It's a little late for me. I'll be up all night. I'm substituting lesser vices. You fixed the door. Oak. Reinforced. So what brings you here tonight, John? Carlton's not home? I saw Charlie. Everything okay? Thought I saw something. I'm just a little on edge with all these weirdos walking around in face paint. I can relate. So did Charlie emulate anything from that night? Not really. She says she doesn't remember much. She asked about her Aunt Jen. I think she's looking for her? She wanted to know if I'd seen her. <laughs> did you ever meet Jen? Charlie always gave me the impression she was kind of cold. <laughs> I was surprised when Jen took Charlie after Henry died. Yeah. What about Charlie's mother? Henry never had a bad word to say about Charlie's mother. But I do know she ran off before Henry and Charlie moved to Hurricane. I knew they'd lose their other kid. As soon as she had some kind of breakdown. One day I couldn't help but ask Henry about her. He thought a long time before answering. Eventually, he gave me the sad look and he said, She wouldn't know what to do with my little girl. Ah. Clowns roaming the streets have you jumpy too, huh, John? You could say that. That was just the wind. Is that Ella? The doll? Yeah, it was in the rubble of the house. The other night, I asked if Charlie wanted it, but she wasn't interested. She wasn't? I have a hard time believing that. Charlie's dad made Ella for her. She used to go around on a track with the tea set. What's this? A child was abducted this morning. It's the second one of this month. Do you think it has something to do with... I mean, it's not the first time it's happened here, and... and I told you I'm not ready to assume that William Afton is out of the picture. I hope these are just some custody disputes and the kids turn up, but it's something else. I'm going to need you. And I'm going to need Charlie, too. I know it isn't fair, but... Yeah. It's getting late. Right. Watch yourself out there. Do you want to take my gun? What? Only choking. Oh. Okay. Unless you do need it. No. Hello? I think the clown restaurant is in the other direction. Relax, John. Just another weirdo in a costume. Yeah. What the? The door. This is Police Chief Clay Burke. There is an intruder in my home, and I don't have immediate access to my radio. Chief Burke? Are you there? Hello? Are you there? Chief Burke?